To a CTV News investigation now. It's been called Guantanamo North and a plea factory. Multiple judges sounding the alarm about what they're calling inhumane conditions for inmates at Toronto's self detention centers, saying that's why they're reducing the sentences of dozens of criminals. CTV's John Woodward joins us now. And, John, what's behind this? Michelle, the judges are denouncing the infestations, the injuries, and the constant lockdowns as they give extra credit for time spent in this jail, which means convicted kidnappers, shooters, drug traffickers all will get out earlier in a standoff with the provincial government they say hasn't made things more humane there for years. Toronto South Detention Centre is a maximum security jail that can house up to 2,000 inmates. Among them was Yannick Ellison, who threatened bar patron Jason Coburn at a North York bar during a dispute about money, then handed a COVID-19 mask as a disguise to another man who shot him dead. Ellison spent just over two years in custody before trial. A judge found almost a year of that was in lockdown because of staff shortages. Lockdowns mean that inmates are locked in their cells 24 hours a day, sometimes for multiple days. They have no prior privacy and are forced to urinate and defecate in front of their cellmates. They are unable to shower. The lockdowns cause increased tension and violence. Ellison pleaded guilty. The judge said in December those conditions meant a sentence of eight years would drop by six months. I'd like to say unusual, but unfortunately it's uh, all too common. So common, a review by CTV News discovered 24 cases in 2023 where judges reduced sentences by as little as a few days to almost two years, pointing to continuous and frequent lockdowns, cells infested with ants, cockroaches and spiders, an infestation of mice as well as silverfish. Their decisions benefiting criminals including Zakaria Youssef, who ordered shots fired at a lawyer's office in York Region, Noad Zagazab, who shot and killed a man in a Scarborough apartment stairwell and admitted child pornography maker Ramanan Pathmanathan. One judge writing, I agree with the position expressed by many judges that lockdowns arising from staff shortages and even those arising for security reasons should not be seen as just the price to be paid by those in custody. Another saying a sentence reduction demonstrates the court's condemnation of these conditions. It's not rehabilitating these guys and girls in any way, shape or form. It's making them bet worse off. It's making them angrier. Ontario's government says it has hired 434 new guards there and is spending $500 million to modernize correctional institutions. It's a travesty. NDP Justice critic Kristen oh, Wong-Tam John, said you. it's not enough and the situation is now putting convicted criminals back on the street sooner. It seems to me that the government is in denial that there is even a crisis. A crisis as those sentenced to serious crimes face harder but shorter time. To say they are not going to give sentencing credit that would make a sentence too low. And in some cases we reviewed they didn't apply the credit if it would cause someone to just walk away. Other judges have called the situation in Toronto South Dickensian. And unless that changes, expect these lighter sentences to continue. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Nathan, back to you. All right, thank you, John. And if you have a story you'd like us to look into for CTV News Investigates, make sure to visit our website for secure and anonymous ways to get in touch.